Happy Sunday from Bogle Park, Fayetteville, Arkansas. Even Tusk Six, the live mascot of the Razorbacks, working on a Sunday, as are we. The berm will be full. Great crowd for game two of this three-game series. So game two of this series on this Sunday and in the circle for the Razorbacks, we're going to get a treat today. We have the Twins as the battery, and the pitcher is freshman Hannah Kamenze. Yeah, for game two in a series for Arkansas, they have a couple of different freshman lefties that they like to go to. Kamenze. In the air to left field, Reagan Kramer is there. It's a big out. A long 10-pitch at bat for Malloy to begin from Hannah Kamenzin. Left field once again towards the line. To the right side, Foreman gathers, gets it to Halverson to retire the side. And she works a walk. That is the first base runner for the Razorbacks today. Casey Hoffman. Pelts this one left center field and a line drive off or out. It is gone. Hit right near the top of the fence. It gets over and a bullet off the bat of Hoffman. Two run shot and it's the Razorbacks who score first. Off of Peyton Gottschall to go up looking for the outer half because that pitch is even about a half ball off the plate and she still crushed that. It looks and sounds different coming off of her bat. Did you hear it? Like, I mean, it just, she hits the ball so hard in BP and games. Let it go in one ear and out the other. Back to the circle, and Annie Cambins in, throws out Brockenbro. It's sharply past the shortstop, Riho into left field. And Malloy has the first hit of the game for Tennessee. Boutte, ground ball, second base. Foreman's play is at first. This one streak for Tennessee. Gets it up in the breeze in right field. That's going to blow all the way out there to Casey Hoffman and almost <laughs> over her head, which you cannot do after a ruling has been video ruled on. Close, safe. There's the speed of Reagan Johnson getting down the line. Not uh, allowed after a ruling. Another liner to first. This one hit a little harder. Gibson, same play, makes the catch to retire the side. Left field. Kramer to her left is there. I think two. Floated towards right. Diving catch. Christina Foreman leaves her feet to come up with the second out. Sanopolis got jammed on this pitch and she was leaning more toward the middle of the field. Foreman was and it ends up because of the fact that that pitch location was supposed to be inside. Foreman was leaning more toward the middle of the field and easy soft contact. Towards the hole and through. Mackenzie Donahue with a sharp single to left. Third base, Scammell has time. Rosan Rodriguez. Retired the side. Two on homer by Hoffman and an infield hit by Reagan Johnson. The 3 2 pitch into foul ground. That's where the wind takes it. Definitely stepped up in this series. Off the end of the bat, wax it over the head of the shortstop, Donahue. And into left field, and Foreman reaches again with two outs, this time with a single. The SEC tournament right here on this field. Brocken Bros softly hit, getting down the line and beats it. Rockenbro leading off the inning. Well, we see the ace, Janice Dells, come in to pitch in relief here on Sunday. He said last year's SEC Pitcher of the Year. They're bringing her in late in this game, third time through the order, and bringing her in with a lead. Usually you see it there. <laughs> and rise ball strikes out Malloy. They got the hit. And a very similar situation, what we're seeing here. Pony to left. Off the glove of Kramer. Here comes the tying run for the plate. Allen is in safely. Pony ties the game. It's 2-2. Ball was just high enough. It caused an issue. And there's the ground ball to end the inning off the bat of West. But Zeta Pony ties things up. Another play for West. Win knocking it down. And she had to come racing in the SEC tournament. Liner. 
A walk and four strikeouts. It's down the left field side and Gamble. Great diving catch in foul territory for the second out. Well done. Behind third base, which gave her a head start on this. If she's playing parallel with the base, there's no chance she's able to get to this. But because of where she starts, she's able to get a good read. Go with a 2-0 pitch to Rodriguez. Slow grounder. Gamble lets Rio the shortstop take it, and she fires to first. Not the short left goal. Donahoe gave way at the last moment, and down to second is Kramer. Well, the wind was knocking that ball down. Right. Yeah. Really good play to parents for Gamble and Gottschall. Yeah. Center field, deep, go! Three run blast, Kylie Halverson. Arkansas back in front. Such good at bats from this Arkansas team in this sixth inning. And Halverson fouled off pitches. That pitch was supposed to be on the outside corner, and it just ended up right down the middle of the plate. And you could tell within that at bat, Halverson started to get more and more and more comfortable with that curveball until she fouled off pitches that they needed. Foreman, deep center, it's back to back. This crowd is absolutely loving the bats at Arkansas is put to back with Kylie Halverson. I mean, Christina Foreman, you could tell that she is just getting hotter as the season goes on. Lost three to one to the Aggies. Shallow left and it drops. And Riley gonna head for second base as it kicked away. And on senior day, Timber Riley off the bench. First base stabbed by Boo Gibson, who steps on to retire the side. But the Hogs go back to back with Halverson and Foreman. Make this comeback. Softly hit, and she's going to beat this out easily. No throw from Gamble. Left side, diving stop, real, but doesn't have anywhere to go with it. Sharply hit. They got it off the glove of Rio. Well, I think if she comes up with that, her only even chance for a play was the force at third, but when it trickled away. Yeah. High fly, left center field. It's going to stay in the park. It's caught by Reagan Johnson. The lead two runners tag. Scoring from third base is Brockenbro. Malloy to third. Pooney hits it to left. Shallow, but it's going to be caught along the line by Kramer. Malloy tags, throw comes home. A one hop throw, a good throw, but not in time to get the speedy Malloy. And another sack fly makes it a two run game. <laughs> to first, Halverson steps on. This series tied at a game apiece. We'll have a rubber game tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Eastern time. So well played, back and forth games. That's a really good team win for Arkansas to come away with game two of the series.